Tonight, growing concern about a new homeless encampment in San Jose, and it's just a short distance from another one. Officials have spent more than a year trying to clean up. Have consequences for people that are fleeing the housing, and we've got to find a place to house the people that are wrecking the community for the rest of us. Community members calling for a permanent solution as a new camp starts to grow at a San Jose Park. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And I'm Claudine Wong. Columbus Park appears to be occupied by dozens of people experiencing homelessness, people who moved there from Guadalupe Gardens. That camp on San Jose Airport properly was cleared out just this month due to federal safety concerns. New at 10, KTVU's LaMonica Peters live in San Jose with what she's learned. LaMonica? Yeah, after the city began clearing the encampment, it seems that the people who were living there simply picked up their things and moved across the street to Columbus Park. And right now, the city is allowing them to stay there. Here's my wonderful plot. Some jalapenos, some squash. David Kohler says he owns a plot at the Guadalupe Community Garden near San Jose's Columbus Park. And he's concerned about the number of RVs he sees on nearby streets. The parking's hard because there's so many... Um, transitory motorhomes here that we can't actually enjoy our community garden. Kohler says the RVs have simply moved from one side of the street to the other since the city began clearing the encampment. People who use the garden are very bothered by and, and worried by it, but you know, there hasn't been any recent incidents or anything because I think most people are just trying to get a good night, a decent night's sleep and sleep where they can. San Jose City Housing officials say so far they've provided 160 people with temporary or permanent housing as they clear the 40-acre property owned by the San Jose International Airport. The city also says they continue offering services and resources to those who were living in the encampment. There is no affordable housing, and um, that's why there's so many RVs and people. It's sad. Cheryl Imus says she's been living in the encampment for over a year, but she's been without a permanent house for about four years. She says she's working with the city to get back into her own home as soon as she can. Not everybody out here has mental issues, for one thing. Um, there are people on this street that go to work during the day. Um, there, are, there are nice people out here, and then it, at the same time, it's unsafe. The area owned by the airport has to be cleared by September 30th, and the city says they will meet that deadline. And in the meantime, they're going to keep an eye on the situation at Columbus Park, but their priority is to meet the FAA requirement. LaMonica Peters, KTVU, Fox 2 News.